So we're all here to talk about fences being overpowered, but first I want to show you guys how this video came to be, because believe it or not, Private Lime is actually the reason this video even exists. So let me tell you how I get the ideas for all my videos. So basically, I'll just be walking around my neighborhood just for the hell of it, and then BAM, I see a duck. Now most people would see a duck and be like, oh, okay, cool, it's a duck. Anyways, but me being me, I instead look at that duck and say, sir, you have just given me an excellent idea. And then I go home and spend the next few hours in a dark room making a video. And that's how this video was made. But for the video you're watching right now, this is what inspired me. Yep, I saw this and I was like, man, fences are actually pretty useful in this game. Hmm, maybe I should make a video about it. And here we are. So thanks, Private Lime, you're the best. Okay, but now onto the actual video. Why are fences overpowered? Well, first of all, let's look at the three different types of fences. There are short fences, tall solid fences, and tall chain link fences. The short fences and tall chain link ones are pretty cool, but the tall solid fences are not. They are the opposite of cool. These fences are probably the most dangerous thing in the game, because I cannot tell you how many times I've hopped over one of these trying to get away from some zombies, and then BAM! The entire undead population of Kentucky is just chilling on the other side of the fence waiting to eat my ass. So these fences suck, but these two are pretty cool. So let's start off the chain link fences, which are very cool because unlike these fences, you can actually see what's on the other side before you hop over. But not only that, you can also stab zombies through the fence if you have a spear or bladed weapon. So the chain link fences are pretty cool, but they don't compare to the short fences. Now you may be thinking, bruh, the short fences suck, zombies can just climb over them and they provide like zero defense. Well, you're wrong. These fences are overpowered because yes, zombies can climb over them, but when they do, they fall down. And a zombie that's on the ground is a lot easier to kill than a zombie that isn't. So let's say you don't have a weapon and you're trying to fight off a group of like two or three zombies. Without a weapon, this is a pretty difficult task, but with a fence, it's easy as can be. Or you may be in a situation where you're trying to get away from a horde. Just hop over the fence and sprint away while they're trying to get back up from their fall. Just do be careful though, because the fences will eventually break after enough zombies have climbed over them. But what do you guys think? Do you agree that fences are OP, or do you think there's something else in the game that deserves the title of being overpowered? Let me know what you think in the comments, and while you're down there, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, that would be very much appreciated. And it would really help me towards reaching my goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.